Good morning. Okay, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. Today is April 7th. I'm doing my um, six month pregnancy update. I am 24 weeks, three days. Yeah, 24 weeks, three days. I was supposed to have been recorded this video. I'm going to try and get through it super quick because I don't know how much video time I have on this particular phone. Um, let's see. I had my midwife appointment on the 27th of March, which was a Monday. So here we are the 7th of April. So I've been a little busy and I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I got a little bit of an opportunity to go ahead and just briefly discuss on the visit. Everything went well. At that point, um, we did a heart rate. I didn't do any recording like I thought I was going to do. I just kind of enjoyed the visit, which I, I enjoy our visits because it's like just having company over. Our visits last about an hour and we discuss everything, anything, and um, it's kind of like the midwife is getting to know me and getting to know the family and just pretty much over um, the period of time that she's going to be seeing us, she uh, will know how to, you know, b better deal with when the, when the labor happens. So she's going to be interacting with all of us at that time. So I kind of like that. And um, so the baby's heart rate was normal. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. I have access to my chart online. Um, I do know it was normal. I think it was like 140 or 138 or something like that. And, um, at that point I had gained a total of 17 pounds. Um, I've weighed myself since then. Um, this morning and I'm 169 pounds so I think I was 165 at that point so I didn't gain like four different pounds <laughs> my appetites picked up a lot like a lot a lot and I'm just going with it I'm not I'm not trying to eat like I'm eating for two but I eat when I'm hungry, and I've been hungry a lot lately. Baby's been moving a lot. I've been feeling her having hiccups, um, just changing around, changing positions, um, getting to know her her sleep schedule. And um, I just can't believe I have, like, what is this? We're in April, and I'm delivering in July. So we're like three months out and you know, I, you know, my stomach, I'll post a picture. I'm not going to stand up because I'm like ill appropriately dressed right now. I'm just like kind of lounge stuff, you know, and, um, but I did take a belly shot like two or three days ago. So I'll probably link that picture in here. But yeah, everything's going good. Visit went well. Um, when I see her again, I believe it's the first week of May, we're going to do um, blood work to, ch to check my um, uh, gestational diabetes status. Um, and what else did we say we were going to do? And I think that's it. So everything went well with the midwife visit. My symptoms are the same. Still dealing with the tylism. Um, gradually getting some weight gain back and appetites picked up pretty good. Um, that's about it. I'm, I'm noticing that my energy is up and down. Some days I'm more energetic than others. I'm struggling trying to make it from class to work to class to work on campus. Feels like the campus is getting bigger. My classes are like uphill. <laughs> Sometimes I'm having to take stairs and, um, but, uh, once the semester ends, I hope to get more exercise in so that I can be better prepared for the delivery and just ultimately just get, you know, work on my energy level. So 
that's what it is i'm gonna end this video right here right now i'll and you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other i'm trying to think if i'm forgetting anything i don't think that i am but if i do forget i'll i'll just do another video uh and just say whatever it is i was gonna the say. camera really did cut off um i didn't get to say bye all the way good and then i thought of something um a symptom i've been going through and that is itching all over my body not my palms of my hands and not the soles of my feet i know that would indicate something more serious in pregnancy but all over i've been itching but um i have been dealing with what happens um this time of year in california which i don't know if you can see um my skin kind of changes and gets a little i'm dealing with like the desert climate of California and I'm like a Florida girl who's used to like moisture and humidity so I'm always trying to balance that and it's, sometimes you can even see it in my shoulders um my skin pattern has changed but um as it gets hotter here um that should helpfully kind of go away but I have been dealing with it just particularly my stomach my lower legs just but yeah I, I I know that that's normal with pregnancy but that's that's my symptom okay so now I'm ready to say goodbye and that's it don't forget to like comment or subscribe and thanks for watching my channel all right have a good one take care of yourself take care of each other